What's happening, you guys? Uh, let me double check. Yeah, no. All right, uh, I arrived at TA in Oklahoma City, same place where I shut down on my last video. The after picking up, after uh, dropping my previous load in the drop yard, a uh, block or so away from here. Yeah, funny, I actually just got a uh, proposition by uh, Lady of the Night. It's not so much night, though. <laughs> First, I just saw her walking around over here. Um, honestly, I have to question. There's, yeah, there she is right there. Um, I'm not so convinced she really is a uh, lot lizard. She's actually a pretty good looking lady overall. Uh, I'm not interested in that kind of stuff at all, and I gotta go pick my load up anyway, but... Like I said, it's not, you know... It's not a bad looking woman. Makes me wonder if she's an undercover or something, or a UC as they call them. <laughs> I mean, even if I really was interested in doing something like that, I could, it's good, you know, it's pretty good as she looks. I'd be uh, way too concerned that she's just a UC and I'm going to end up on uh, on some uh, booking log or whatever, to, uh, you know, for being a John or whatever. It's like, no, no, we're not doing that. Even enough, I really did have those kind of morals where I was willing to do that. Uh, no. Alright, uh, we got two sides here. We're going to be picking up a load at the Hobby Lobby Distribution Center. And it's literally only a couple miles away from here. Uh, I told you at the end of my previous video, I really did not have any idea where I was going to end up reloading. So, uh, yeah, I had a let's see now. Yeah. Traffic coming, and this is a, kind of one of these funky intersections. So I don't really know. I mean, this side here is no turn on red, but there, it doesn't say anything on my side about no right on red. So, but. There's no sign right there, so I'm going to go ahead and go. As long as I know who's got what, uh, what right of way there. Uh, the off ramp traffic is the one that had the right of way. Alright, so, uh, like I said, uh, we are picking up here at Hobby Lobby. I've been here once before. It's probably been a good couple of years, though, since I was last there. Uh, I don't know what the, exactly when I was last there. I just know it was once. It was definitely over a year ago, maybe two years ago, for all I know. I, I really don't know. Uh, I, mean, I still have a pretty good idea how things are done there. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, it ended up being a little bit of a painful experience there with... Uh, that TA there, because I decided, you know, I need to get brakes looked at. You know, my, uh, my drive axle brakes looked at. So I went ahead, and after I woke up, I went and checked in to the shop there. And, uh, you know, I wanted, uh, so they could take a look at my brakes. And I thought I was going to end up having to replace all four brakes. But it ended up they only replaced the two rear axle brakes only. Um, now mind you, I got 902,000 miles on this truck. I've never replaced the brakes on this truck before. So, got a lot of good miles out of those brakes. Um, and the front axles are still in good shape. Um, I think it was the left front was still at 7 sixteenths and uh, the right front is at 8 sixteenths. And the minimum is 416. So, yeah, I still got some time left to work with on both the front and uh, the, yeah, the front drive axle brakes. All right, so uh, this uh, Hobby Lobby DC is freaking humongous. 
That's the only well, it's the only DC that Hobby Lobby has in the entire U.S. From what I understand, so every Hobby Lobby store you see in the U.S., uh, their product all gets delivered from this same DC. And this load will actually be going straight to uh, a National Hobby Lobby store in Southern Cal, which we'll discuss a little bit later. Get you to stay tuned for the whole video to know where exactly it's going to. So I'll just tell you it's going to Southern Cal. <laughs> trying to synergize getting the whole video watched, you know. Or uh, view time up or whatever. Yeah, that sounds good. Not like I'm making any money off of it anyway. I don't normally monetize my, a lot of my videos because my opinion, I don't have enough subscribers and I don't have enough uh, view count on a regular basis to really justify monetizing videos. Uh, I might, uh, I tend to monetize them after maybe they hit a thousand or so views, which there aren't any. There really aren't an incredible number of videos on my channel that meet that criteria. Alright, uh, when we do leave the DC, uh, I think it's this gate right here. Yeah, this one right here we're going to be coming out of later on. Uh, but that's not how we're getting in. Uh, we're going to go down the road, uh, make the left here, to, uh, this next light up here. And there will be a truck entrance on the left side. And you really can't miss it because there's a set of railroad tracks right by it. So you have to be really, you have to be seriously blind as a bat and uh, super inattentive uh, to not uh, to not realize you're crossing railroad tracks. Uh, so anyway, I ended up getting uh, both the rear brakes replaced on my drive axles, and then. Um, both the front drive tires as well they ended up replacing. Uh, I don't think they really needed to be changed, but yeah, I think it's because the, the alignment, you know, the inner, you know, the inner tread, which doesn't even really count uh, as far as wear is concerned. Um, I guess somehow they talked JCT into uh, proving it. I don't think it really needed to be done, but it got done nonetheless. Uh, I'm not too happy with what it's going to do to my maintenance account when the maintenance account's the only thing stopping me from having this truck in my own name. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, it takes a, you know an extra month or whatever of uh, making payments to the maintenance account to get where I can finally get the title to it, uh, the truck. So be it. Safety first, though. Alright, so this entire property, this whole block here, all the way down to uh, what's that I-44 or whatever that, no, not I-44, whatever that highway is down there. Um, it's a state route, I just can't read what it says. All the way down to there is all Hobby Lobby uh, property. Alright, so here's the railroad tracks coming up. Yeah, it'll be a driveway right here by, uh, it should be right on this side of the tracks. Yeah. Uh, we do have a green light here, but I got an oncoming car. Oh, come on. Now watch the white turn red while I'm sitting here in the middle of the intersection waiting on this traffic. I don't mean, this is normal in a car, but... In a truck, I don't tend to like doing it because the truck is so much longer and so much slower to accelerate that it is so much harder to get out of the intersection for traffic getting a fresh green. September 12 through 30, mammography screenings. They're doing mammography screenings here. Understanding that correctly? I mean, if they have a large female employee population, I guess it's not a bad thing, but. 
Why don't you just go to a clinic for that? I don't know. It's um, just seems a little weird, I guess. I'm not a woman, though, so I I don't know. Um, do they have uh, female watchers? The uh, do you guys, uh, are there normally like mammography screen, like, you know, things like this where, uh, like an on-site mammography clinic or whatever you want to, screening, whatever you guys want to call it, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, we sent my arrival and uh, as soon as we get through checking in, uh, we'll show you where we dropped the trailer. So I guess we're gonna be, uh, everyone's coming out this gate right here, so. Alright, um, we're gonna be dropping our empty and road G golf. And our loaded trailer will be in either row Lima or Mike. We're making a left over here. Go up to the north end of this area here, and then uh, it's really weird because they got a couple of different lanes there. It's like one way lane shit. I feel like I should be going the opposite direction through here. But I don't, it's been a couple of years, like I said, since I've been here. I swore last time I came through here I was supposed to come this way. And I don't know, I could be wrong. <laughs> it's like, eh, just stupid me, you know. I don't know, man, I'm just kidding. Really, it could happen to anybody, but the trailer's all facing this way, and then the, the docked in trailer's on the blind side. It tells me that this is really meant to be um, transited through the opposite direction. It made me wonder if I should have gone uh, right around that island and went around the, the other side of this building here. Well, there's a stop sign right here, so... I guess there are expectations for... Now, see, that says enter, uh, do not enter the wrong way, but... I remember last time I came here, you have to go all the way past, all the way past the road you drop in, or at least the one I did last time, uh, and basically uh, kind of do a UE around this big ass island and work back around. Okay, Gulf is one of the ones facing westbound, so uh, I just gotta figure out, there's ENF right there, so. Gulf is this one right here. Okay, I'll have to overshoot it, go into um, whatever that row is over there. Go up to the north end of it and then circle back around so I can set up for my backing. Uh, one, uh, one cool thing about, well, it depends on your perspective. If you're buying your own fuel, like I do, uh, you'll be happy to know that Hobby Lobby loads are never heavy. Um, if you have anything more, if you have something that's more than 20,000 pounds, uh, even that's probably, that's on the heavy side for a Hobby Lobby load. This one here, I think would only set 15,000. Something along that line. Oh, well, not to exceed 15 per trailer, 15,680 per trailer. Alright, across right there. video and of 
I've kind of already talked a little bit while because I do want to talk about where I'm going with this, but I'll wait till after I'm done checking out and leaving before I do that. Uh, no, he's turning anyway. Alright, I think they have pl uh, placeholder signs over here as well, because I'm going to need it. I don't know what row I'm looking at right now. here on the pavement to tell me what uh, what row I'm in. This is uh, that's just a tire mark. Uh, these are all drive ins as well, so I do well, I see a reefer unit over there, but Said, this would be great if they had markings there on the pavement or something uh, or more uh, placeholder signs whatever telling me what damn row I'm even in now instead I'm gonna have to go all the way up to that lane up there and figure out from the signs up there on that end what the hell row I'm in Assuming that next row over is golf because all I see are Hobby Lobby trailers here, but again, I don't know what I'm really don't have any idea what lane I'm in, so ah, what the, is this? That's D Charlie and Delta, so. C and F, so G is the next one down. I mean, why are you camping out right in the middle of the freaking lane, dipshit? I don't get that. Put you back up so you're not uh, right in the middle of the freaking lane. See if we find one, uh, anything that should be fun for us to do. There's be plenty of room here. We're going to have probably not a full straight back setup, but I suspect it'll be pretty close. It's not right there. I think it was gonna come close to straight back, so it's go like that. Yeah. Ah, let the trailer do its own work. Should be yeah. Should just be able to follow it right in. Let's 
supposed to open my doors, am I? Because those trailers behind me have their doors open, but a lot of others don't, so I don't know. bags to drop and then we'll get over to the, where our loaded trailer is. Uh, got a Swifty over here backing into a spot but I don't think we're good. I know, you, I know the camera's not able to pick them up so it's kind of pointless for me to sit there and watch them. If I can't get, I mean, I'm not trying to get footage of Swifty screwing up. I'm I'm not one of those guys who thinks that everybody who drives a Swift truck or trailer or whatever is a shitty driver. That's totally not true. Only ignorant idiots think that. You now, some other people will say it as a joke, but uh, there are other people who will uh, honestly believe what that is. Alright, H, J, K. Alright, so not the road facing us on the next road, but it should be that next road down where. I believe my loaded trailer is going to be. I think it was, it might have been that row almost all the way down on the other end. I did see a, the front of a reefer trailer over there. I'm not, I, we'll take a wild guess that that could be mine. Uh, I'll maybe looking for six, six nine one two is the trailer number. any reefer traders over here so I think it was the next row down where I saw the reefer trailer again I don't have a clue what row I'm looking at here I'm the G and then H should have been uh, okay then um, I J K L all right so yeah I think it'll be the next row about because I know for sure I saw a reefer trailer. Let's go this way. Yeah, there's one right there. I think that might be the same one I was looking at. It is a JCT trailer. Yep, that's it. 6912. Just got to wait on it. Great. Now this bobtail driver is going to fuck me over too. At a, so you're not, no, I'm going this side. You go the other side, dude. My trailer's right here. And, uh, you know, yeah, I turned a lot wider than I normally do because I thought I started my turn sooner. So by not not making a crisp part, you know, a solid left turn, that's why the truck tracked wider than I uh, anticipated. I do have some weight on here, but not a lot. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's uh, get this thing hooked up and looked at. Alright, so this is a brand new trailer practically. It was manufactured in January of 2020. And it looks to be in really good shape, although the um, I think someone dropped this trailer at some point in time, or might have. Um, I think I'll go ahead and show you why I think that. Might as well for show and tell. Why not? While we're at it. Alright, so I'm going to show you why I think this trailer may have been dropped. 
So this trailer's not that old, but this glad hand here, the uh, connection on the trailer, looks pretty brand new, so... Well, the fitting definitely doesn't look new, but the, the glad hand hookup itself, the bracket looks new to me, so... And it doesn't match what the, the red one is. On a newer trailer, it should be pretty well matching overall, so... Uh, something happened on this side, and normally these get changed because somebody drops a trailer and uh, when it drops onto the frame rail on the back of the on the back of the tractor That's usually what does that All right, uh, so, all right so we're gonna put this tandem slide tool in now as I've mentioned before The tandems are all the way forward see the mechanical stop is right there the pin is uh, where it's right above the knuckle is uh, just forward, uh, just behind it. I don't like driving with them like that. It's now the California hole is three holes back from there. This is a six inch hole pattern trailer so um, that's a foot and a half difference. So that's 40 feet. This is 38 and a half where it's at right now. That's an extra foot and a half of tail swing possible as well. So that's why I don't like to drive with the tandems all the way back all the way forward if I don't need them there so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that plunger and since I want to go three holes back right there is the first hole so I got one two three we're gonna go into that hole there and we'll uh, Go ahead and slide the tandems up to until I hit that uh, until I hit that thing, and we'll set the brakes, set the pin, lock the pins in, and grab the slide tool, and we'll be out of here. Slide uh, this shag driver hook it up to the. Um, Oh wait, I need to go forward, that's why. There we go. So used to having to slide the towns forward when I'm ready to leave a place that I <laughs> backward. Alright, I'll come back to make sure there's no bind on the uh, make sure that the pins are in for one and uh, make sure there's no bind on the the slide tool. Alright, some reason I accidentally overshot the the hole I wanted by one. I must have miscounted or something, I don't know. Uh, but it ended up in the 40 foot 6 inch hole. Honestly though, I don't really care because most of the time, the, uh, even if you do get uh, pulled into a way station in California, well, in pretty much any state, whatever their limit is, uh, they don't tend to make a big stink out if you're being one hole over length. If you go much more than that, though, like maybe two holes longer, or like eight, eight or twelve inches uh, back or more, then you really get high risk of having a problem. But one hole back, I'm not going to be concerned about it. And the only way station I'm going to see in California. With this load because uh, I will say here that the load will be going to Bakersfield uh, to the store over there right off of California Avenue uh, just west of Highway 99 um, so I do expect that I will be um, stopping at the house on the way because it's due on the 29th I have the hours and an ETA to get there by the 28th. So I will probably take this load to my house, hang out there, and then um, 
You know, I said, I'm running on recaps. I don't really care if I sit for a little bit and have to and wait to recover extra recaps for a future load. So I don't really care if I sit on this load for 16 hours or whatever at my house. So uh, boo-hoo. So, so it's such a terrible ex experience there. Um, I don't know. So... Yeah, I'll have the Tehachapi, westbound Tehachapi way station to deal with. Um, we need to go this way. But that's about it. And a lot of times when I go through there, because the hours that I tend to drive, it's usually closed. Although, this load delivers at, I think it was 9 a.m., so... Um, I could be wrong, but, well, I don't know, it's, I might end up going through there when it's closed anyway, so even if it was a concern, you know, I'm, even if it is open when I go through there, I have no concern at all with going across that scale like this, and I can always slide them again to make it really 100% legal, but, yeah. I could just as well say, you know, I don't like tilt swing. I don't want to be having backing accidents. So I'd rather not have excessive tilt swing. And there's no problem with the six inch over length. So, yeah. All right, so guard shack right over here. Uh, we'll check back out. Uh, figure out where this shack driver's going first. Uh, make sure I, I didn't know which side the shaft driver is going to want to take so I wanted to stay out of his way just in case now that way he had the option to go over to the dock door area if he needed it and but he still had the option to come over here to the drop area too So we're already uh, sealed up and all that. I'm going to pull away. Okay, so if I recall, this is my BOL right here. That's all that's needed. So I'll come up here by where this other, where the Swift driver's at and um, get checked out. This uh, container driver is uh, going around us right now, so as soon as he gets through passing by, 
Uh, we'll be out of here. simple route. We're just going to take Council Road back up to the to I-40 which was right there on the other side of the TA that we started this video from. And get on the westbound side and stay on 40 all the way to Barstow, California. And normally if I wasn't going to, if I wasn't planning on stopping at my house, Alright, there's a, we got a green line here anyway. If I wasn't planning on something by my house, I would just take Highway 58 across from Barstow. And 58 would take me right into Bakersfield. And then, if you go north on 99, uh, California Avenue is like the first or second exit north of Highway 58. So, yeah, it's, it's real close to where 99 and 58 meet up. Um, that would be the normal plan. Of course, I'm going to stop by my house with this load, though. It's a nice building there. That's also a Hobby Lobby building. Technology building. Yeah. Got a nice, uh, I guess they would call it a campus here. It's freaking huge, too. A creative center. street is this? I can't read it. Freaking sun. Uh, the sun is, uh, sun is not letting me read with that sign. So I can see there's a street sign right there, but I can't read it. Oh yeah, this is Council Road, so. Yeah, there's so much, and the sun is directly right behind the sign, so I, there's, it just looks like some big black box to me, and even though it's green and white. already been discussed so I'm gonna go ahead and in this one pretty promptly here right guys uh, say uh, just a couple miles here up the street to get on I-40 and we'll be heading west um, all right uh, I don't know if I'll be delivering this myself I would say pretty good chance because I'm running on recaps but yeah, I can't guarantee it so all goes as uh, follows as planned. I will be delivering this load myself at Hobby Lobby store in Bakersfield. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys then. Um, probably have another like some miscellaneous video in between this one and the delivery. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll, I don't want to load uh, overload with too much content on the same day. I just yeah, ideally one video per day if uh, if that. I think is plenty. So. All right, you all have a great night, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you on the next one.